It's a new year and I feel more relaxed and recharged. I am motivated again to share my vlogs and these few new vlogs are going to be special. I can finally say that I can check this off my bucket list. I did van life in Iceland. So Chris and I are in Iceland for our honeymoon. It doesn't really feel like one. It just feels like our regular travel vlogs that we usually do. But anyways, we are here. This is how the roads look After like here. 150 meters, turn right. It's very clean. Yeah, there's no speck of dirt, no trash, nothing. Damn. Where is the guy before? Yeah, this is such an odd place to get to Sky Lagoon. Like it's not even on a main street. Like you're taking back roads or something. I don't see Sky Lagoon at all. We have arrived at Sky Lagoon. Got done hanging up our wet clothes in our new house for the week. Let me show you guys what Chris is doing right now. And that is how you live the camper van life. <laughs> Chris is dying over here. He's so tired. And this morning we went to the Sky Lagoon and it was amazing. Um, after that, we did go to some grocery stores. And they had an Asian grocery store, so we had to stop in. And then we went to go eat. Um, huh? It's actually never freaking ate. Why? You no, tired now? I'm tired, dude. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. Chris is really tired right now, and he's not really in a great mood. Um, so that sucks. While I was inside uh, Sky Lagoon, inside their locker rooms, I could not figure out how people locked their locker. So I had to kind of stand there, you know, pretend that I knew what I was doing. And then I 
kind of glanced over and somebody ha had used their wristband to actually lock the um, locker. And I thought that was so cool. I'm just like, how come they don't do this in the US? Or maybe I just never been to any that has that. A few weeks ago, the volcano was active um, and we really wanted to go see that volcano eruption, but because it's no longer active, we're not gonna go. However, we have to keep in mind that um, it's still not really a safe area because of the smoke and possible gas pollution. So today, we aren't gonna do a lot um, just because we're really tired and we're just gonna take it slow. And tomorrow, we will have more of an adventure. Mm, so boss. Girl trying this hot dog from gas station. Super skinny and super long. I put some sauce. I have no idea what it is. Mm -hmm. No idea. It only had one. supposed to stay at this like nicer campsite but something happened where I don't know what happened to the miscommunication but we're now 50 minutes out and we went to the wrong campsite so we decided we're just gonna stay at this one good morning it's Sunday now let me show you guys what we're doing currently we're making coffee coffee that I don't drink but Chris does so that's what we're doing right now and then we're gonna go to a waterfall and supposedly you get really wet so um yeah this morning we're gonna be wet but what's nice is that we have all of our waterproof gear so that's what we're doing today is checking out the waterfall and then go from there Self-pressing coffee maker. So just do this. My drink. Why would these people need to travel far to see a waterfall when they have one in their backyard? She literally just took my line. <laughs> and then we're gonna check out the gourd, which is over there somewhere. I'm really excited to try all this waterproof gear.
A wall. Big old wall. Fail, they tricked us. Okay. There were no regrets to booking a van as we had the freedom to take our time to explore and truly immerse ourselves in the Icelandic experience. To see sheep roaming freely on the side of the mountains was incredible. It reminded me of the chickens that my in laws have at home that roam freely in the summer months. Some fun facts with sheep in Iceland is that there are more sheep than the human population in Iceland. These sheep are not wild sheep either. They actually belong to farmers and every September, Icelandic farmers embark on the annual tradition of scaling mountains to collect their sheep. Put your hoodie back on. Right in front of the Salia Lance Force. Park a lot pimping. It's super hot though. Okay, so we're gonna finish up with eating and then we're gonna go to Skogafas. And it's another waterfall, so we're gonna go check that one out. But until then, we're gonna finish our food and then we'll show you guys in a bit. That is beautiful. Are those stairs? Nope. hike up a mountain because Leah's too scared of heights. I'm scared of heights too but not if I'm walking up the hill. So it's just a side hill. It's not like a straight drop off. So it's not too bad. But now we're gonna see all on the top. Get my hike in for the day. I'm recording the GoPro too. Oh, there's another waterfall. Wow. Oh.
side of the hill. Crazy. Alright, I'm guessing I'm turning back because I just looked at this trail and it's a two and a half hour hike there and another two hours hike back. Um, kind of figured I should check because I saw people bring big backpacks so I was like wait there's no way people bring big backpacks for a small short hike so I checked and yeah it's about two and a half hour hike so turning back I'm going back to Luna now so this is a really unique dairy product do you guys eat Greek yogurt at home because I do and Greek yogurt it's a little bit tart this is how it looks like it's just a little bit more creamier and this honestly tastes like yogurt but honestly better i think i'd rather have this than greek yogurt julia gave me two bites <laughs> i got nervous because <laughs> there were cars coming and we had to go up the hill and chris had to back down mm. this one compared to yogurt is more thicker and creamier and it's not as sweet, but still flavorful, okay? I like this one. This one is the best dairy product ever. We were fortunate enough to see these dressed to impress puffins before they migrated. Puffins can be seen in their breeding grounds between May to mid-August in Iceland. And we stumbled upon them when we went to the cliffs in Deer Ole. It's not difficult to miss them as you'll see a huge group of people taking pictures and videos of them in their habitat. I knew that when visiting Iceland, I had to pack my bulkier camera lens for wildlife and I did not regret it. It made me feel like I was doing National Geographic work, and now I have beautiful photos of these puffins to look at. These puffins were so fun to watch. I loved seeing the puffins fly in and out of the edge of the cliff. And some fun facts about puffins is that they rarely change mates. They are considered parrots of the sea or clowns. And where do they go after breeding season? Well, they live in the open North Atlantic Ocean when they aren't in Iceland. Van life today, we're gonna be eating some Polish 
No, I actually don't know. This is some brats. And then some steak. And then some rice. Because we're Asian. And these hot dog buns, they're really long compared to the ones in the US. And Liz making rice in the pot because that's all we got. Yeah. Hopefully that's considered salt. Yeah, I really regret it. We honestly should have packed salt and black pepper. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Yep. That's all right. We'll grab the black pepper too. We might put some on the steak. Rocks. So here's how I'm doing it. Okay. No rinsing, nothing. Put some black pepper on it and some salt. Being you know, real basic, cause that's all we got. Let's see. I mean, I'll pat it or nothing, cause I haven't washed my hands yet. You know, what you're doing real basic before going on the hike. If we're hungry, so we're gonna have dinner. This is eating salt. Won't know until we know. Oh my god, these are big ass salt. Okay, All right, well, get the thing. Flip it. The hot dogs in Iceland is mainly made of the grass-fed lamb that you saw in the video, mixed with beef and pork. If you didn't know, lamb is actually a staple here. I still prefer my American hot dogs, but this is good too. It's just an acquired taste. I love the length of these hot dogs, and the bread was proportioned perfectly with the meat. American buns has too much breading in my opinion. Green steak, porridge rice. It looks like it's hot. It's gonna get dark, but the truth is, it doesn't get dark. I love it. Let me show you guys our view. It's so nice. 